salamat. Uh, thank you for being here. And and I have to say, you know, it's good to thank. Um, siguro naman po, <laughs> yung sa mga trolls ng Rappler, at doon sa mga naniniwala sa mga kasinungalingan tungkol sa Rappler, napaniwalaan na po namin na hindi tax evader ang Rappler. Okay. Sorry, napatunayan po namin na, ano, na hindi tax evader ang Rappler. Um, yun nga lang po, it took four years and two months. Four years and two months. We came to court. We believed in the court. Um, despite everything that was happening. And I don't know if you remember, but about six months before these charges, sorry, four charges were filed against us, we received a top corporate taxpayer award from the Philippines, right? So, medyo nabaliktad po yung mundo. But, today, facts win. Truth wins. Justice wins. Medyo emotional nga lang po. <laughs> um, these charges, as you know, were politically motivated. They were incredible to us. A brazen abuse of power. And meant to stop journalists from doing their jobs. But, in two seconds, these cases are where capital markets, where rule of law, where press freedom meet, right? So, this acquittal, right, is not just for Rappler, it is for every Filipino who has ever been unjustly accused. It is also a, a ray of light, hope, again, not just for us, but if you guys remember, I just last Sunday visited Lila de Lima on, on, in February, she will be in her seventh year in prison. Seventh year, you know, it's a February, July, right? And then, of course, don't forget we have a journalist who's been in prison, Frenchie Mayhew. She begins her fourth year in prison this February as well. So, you know, this is hope. This is hope. I had a really good feeling about today, not only because there wasn't one shred of evidence to support these charges. Not one. Because we are not the dealer in securities. We are a loose organization. But also because of the way the Court of Tax Appeals conducted the hearings. Uh, I testified here. Um, I actually at some point felt sorry for the prosecution because they couldn't answer some of the questions that the justices themselves posed. So I had a good feeling coming in today. But of course, it's been so long that we've lived in the upside down that I was also prepared for a conviction. And we would have kept fighting. But my God, what a 